Welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we would like to show you how to install the ball on three plates geometry on a Discovery Hybrid Rheometer for tribal rheometry measurements. TA Instruments Discovery Hybrid Rheometer is equipped with four different types of tribal rheometry accessories. Among them, this ball on three plates geometry provides a capability of testing the coefficient of friction on a solid surface with some low viscosity media in between. If you are using the Peltier temperature control system, for advanced Peltier plate, you will need to attach this tribal rheometry holder to the top of the Peltier plate first, and then attach this three-place lower geometry. Tighten the screws on the side. For disposable Peltier users, you can directly insert this three plates lower geometry to the Peltier. After that, install the Peltier to the bottom of the rheometer. From the instrument control panel, press this button to temporarily release the magnet. Put the Peltier onto the instrument bottom stage. Then insert the smart swap plug with the red dot facing up. Plug in the circulating tubes and turn on the circulator. For the top fixture, you will need to use this long coupling adapter. Insert the beam coupling, and then attach this short single ball upper geometry holder with a half inch ball in it. Tighten the screws on the side. After that, install this upper geometry to the top of the rheometer. In the geometry kit, there are two beam couplings, the aluminum coupling and the stainless steel coupling. These couplings are used to provide excellent alignment between the two surfaces and ensure a uniform distribution of the axial force during the measurement. In general, the aluminum coupling is commonly used for lower axial force testing and the stainless steel coupling is used for higher axial force testing. If you're using the ETC oven as temperature control for your tribal rheometry test, attach your three plates lower geometry to the ETC disposable bottom stage. Tighten the screws on the side, and then install this stage to the bottom of the rheometer. From the instrument control panel, press this button to temporarily release the magnet. Put the ETC bottom geometry onto the instrument bottom stage. Then insert the smart swap plug with the red dot facing up. For the top fixture, you will need to use this short coupling adapter. Insert the beam coupling, and then attach this long single ball upper geometry holder with a half inch ball in it. Tighten the screws on the side. After that, Install this upper geometry to the top of the rheometer. TA Instruments provides the users with stainless steel balls and plates, but users can also use different type of balls and plates based on their test need. Setting up a tribal rheometry test on a Discovery Hybrid rheometer is very straightforward. First of all, after attaching the upper and lower geometry to the rheometer, Users need to zero the gap. If needed, from the TRIO software control panel, also zero the axial force. After that, load your testing media. Lower the upper ball until it is in contact with the bottom three plates. Apply a constant axial force, either from the TRIO's control panel or from the test procedure under the conditioning step. The test procedure of measuring the coefficient of friction as a function of sliding speed can be either a flow ramp or a flow sweep. Here is one example of testing the coefficient of friction between a steel ball and three steel plates using milk 
and honey as a media. In this TA Tech Tip, we have learned how to set up the ball on three plate geometry on a Discovery Hybrid Rheometer. We have also shown you how to set up a flow test procedure to measure the coefficient of friction as a function of sliding speed. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.